newly arrived, this information is already causing a stir on the web, and you won't want to miss any details. But before sharing this news, I want to reinforce how welcome you are here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe and leave your like to receive real-time updates. So here we go. Gwyneth Paltrow insisted on Friday on the witness stand that a 2016 ski collision at a luxury ski resort in Utah was not her fault, claiming it started when the man suing her ran into her from behind. The actor-turned-lifestyle influencer testified that the accident shocked her and the way the man's skis veered between her two legs made her initially worry she was being violated, she said. There was a body pressing into me and a very strange groaning, she said. My brain was trying to understand what was going on, she continued. Paltrow later clarified that, after her split-second panic, she realized the sudden collision was not sexual in nature. Before we continue, we would like to thank you for being here and remind you that it is very important to us that you leave your like on this video so we can continue bringing you the latest news from the world of celebrities daily. Thank you in advance. Now, let's continue with this news that is causing a stir. After sitting in court for four days, Paltrow remained calm and controlled for more than two hours on the witness stand Park City jurors were transfixed as she categorically denied fault for the collision. Terry Sanderson, the retired optometrist suing her, is expected to give a different account of the accident when he is the first to testify on Monday. Throughout Paltrow's highly anticipated testimony, the Goop founder CEO calmly and repeatedly said Sanderson, seated several feet away in court, collided with her, causing the two skiers to end up sprawled on the beginner run with Paltrow on top and Sanderson below her. In the seconds after the collision, Paltrow acknowledged she yelled at Sanderson and did not stop to ask if he was okay. Paltrow testified that she was nearby on the mountain when one of her family's four ski instructors promised to give Sanderson their contact information and file a report on the incident. In an exchange that touched on recurring themes of the trial, Sanderson's lawyers sought to portray the decision as a reflection of the celebrity's recklessness, while Paltrow insisted that she not the 76-year-old man suing her was the injured party. You have to keep in mind that when you're a victim of an accident, your psychology is not necessarily thinking about the person who committed it, she said. To draw attention to Paltrow's wealth, Sanderson's lawyers questioned Paltrow about the price of ski instructors at the upscale Deer Valley Resort and her decision to leave the mountain for a massage on the day of the accident. What a bombshell news! What is your opinion on this? Share in the comments, as we value your participation here on the channel. A big hug and see you in the next update.